Saw it first on two right here at six o'clock. Taken and then it went viral. A Katie man says that there was a rodent in his grandson's Dr. Pepper bottle. It's not just people here in the Houston area talking about this. This story has now gone global, picked up by publications all over the world. Samantha Patashkin live tonight with a food safety expert's take on all of this. Samantha? Well, this definitely isn't the first time consumers have found something strange inside their food and drink. But the discovery that was supposedly made inside a bottle of Dr. Pepper, just a little bit bigger than this one right here, really was quite shocking. And the food and safety expert we talked to says while it is not probable, it is possible. It's known as the oldest soft drink in the U.S., and now it's also the most repulsive, at least to one Katie family. You get grossed out when you see it. John Graves says after his three year old grandson drank half of this 20 ounce Dr. Pepper, they found what appears to be a rodent inside. Somehow that mouse got into the bottle. How it got there, I don't know. Jay Neal is a food safety expert at the University of Houston. He says it's very possible for a mouse or a rat to slide into a bottle. You know, a mouse can fit through a hole about the size of a nickel. Uh, a rat can get, you know, they don't have bones, so they've got cartilage they can squeeze through it. However, at what point in the packaging process a rodent could have squeezed its way in remains a mystery. It's washing the bottle, it's filling the bottle, it's putting the, the, the cap on the bottle, it's putting the label on the bottle in less than 15 seconds. He says it's also not something consumers typically see because of so many checks and balances. Well, Dr. Pepper Snapple, it's a very reputable company that follows you know, all the quality assurance protocols that are out there. But regardless of how it got inside, at this point, John is just hoping to get the rodent tested as soon as possible. I'm concerned about, you know, the, the health concerns for my grandson. And fortunately, so far, his grandson is doing okay. He did go to a, the, a, the doctor to get a few tests, and the family is now waiting those results. For now, reporting live, Samantha Patashkin, KPRC Channel 2 News.